you. That small one's a little more challenging. Welcome back to the Canadian Gun Vault. We're here at the Galt Sportsman's Club in Cambridge, Ontario, taking a closer look at the uh, Turkish-made Canuck, a uh, licensed copy of the Browning High Power. And I gotta tell you, I'm uh, thoroughly impressed so far. Uh, this is the original Wonder Nine, folks. This was John Moses Browning's last uh, great design. Uh, he didn't even finish it before he uh, passed away, and it was completed by another another engineer. Uh, originally made in Belgium, we actually have a. Uh, 1968 manufactured T-Series Browning High Power for comparison and uh, I got to tell you I've never seen uh, a licensed copy that uh, came through uh, the way this one has. I mean it's uh, got a tight fit. Uh, the finish is a little bit dull by comparison to the old school bluing that I love but uh, as a performer it's uh, really surprising me. At 50 yards it's still I'm going to go after that little one again. Yep. She hits. You know, this is the original Wonder 9. I mean, uh, during a time when most semi-automatic handgun designs only had about seven or eight rounds, uh, the Browning High Power came along in 1935 and uh, just blew everybody out of the water. This was the uh, standard that all others were judged by for the longest time among special forces until uh, you know more modern designs came along. Uh, really impressed with the, uh, like I said, fit and finish. It's very tight. The trigger is not typically uh, like the uh, bending of a nail as uh, most Browning High Powers are. And uh, the wood quality is good. The Turkish have definitely provided us with a, a Terrific example of something that could uh, be purchased for a lot less than the Browning's putting out these days. I believe that uh, this is about a $700 expenditure. Uh, you may want to contact your local gun store and see if they carry it and uh, speak with them about the uh, Canuck. Because uh, you know what? So far, I'm uh, really pleased with its reliability, its accuracy, its trigger. The fit and finish is great. So uh, why wouldn't you buy something that costs about uh, two or $300 less than uh, the uh, real McCoy? So we hope you've enjoyed this brief overview at the uh, Turkish Made Canuck. Uh, given to you by the Canadian Gun Vault. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, Canada, shoot straight, stay safe.